the battle of champions for the interim WBC light heavyweight world title brought to you by GTD Promotions and TGB Promotions in association with Samson Boxing. Welcome our fighters to the stage at this time. First, training in Southern California by way of Kharkiv, Ukraine. Please welcome the former WBC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander the Nervostik. And now, ladies and gentlemen, his opponent from Phoenix, Arizona, making his light heavyweight debut, the two-time WBC super middleweight champion of the world, known as the Mexican monster, David El Monstro Benavides. All right, fans, here we go. Let's bring our fighters to the scale. Once again, 12 rounds of boxing, WBC interim light heavyweight world title. Weight limit, 175 pounds. First, please welcome a 2012 Olympic bronze medalist with a record of 20 wins, only one defeat with 16 wins coming by way of knockout. Making his return to the ring, please welcome to the scale the former WBC light heavyweight champion of the world, Alexander the Nail Gvostik. One hundred seventy-four point two pounds. One seventy-four point two for Alexander the Nail Volstic. and his opponent holds an undefeated record of twenty-eight and zero with twenty-four knockouts. One of the young, hard-hitting stars of the sport. The two-time WBC super middleweight champion of the world, David El Monstro Benavides. 174.2, 174.2 for the Mexican monster. There they are, ladies and gentlemen. It's 12 rounds of boxing. The WBC interim light heavyweight world title. David El Monstro Benavides versus Alexander the Nail Wozdik at a co-main event of the evening. Now to hear from both of our fighters. Once again, please welcome acclaimed combat sports reporter Jordan Plant. Alexander, you've been at 175 your entire career. You fought some of the best in that division. What's your final message to David Benavidez before tomorrow night? Well, now it's time to fight one of the best in 168 who moving up in 175. Enough said right there. And you took a four-year break from boxing, but you came back last year in 2023. What would it mean to you to win the WBC interim title tomorrow night? It's an awesome and great opportunity to become a two-time world champion and become a, in general world champion again. Well, thank you so much and good luck tomorrow night. We'll see you then. Thank you. Now I'll head over to David. David, good to see you. The last time you stepped on the scale anywhere close to 175 was in 2015, ten, almost 10 years ago. What kind of, what can the fans expect to see from you tomorrow night with that extra weight and that extra energy? You could see an even more destructive monster in the ring, and I feel amazing. I can't wait to go in there and give you guys a hell of a performance. Pero le quiero dar las gracias a toda mi gente y toda mi raza que vinieron a apoyar. Los quiero mucho y sábado vamos por la victoria. 
And what's your prediction for this fight? I'm going for the knockout. The monster always goes for the knockout, and that's what I'm going to get this Saturday. What kind of message do you think that's going to send to the light heavyweight division if you, at your first fight at this weight class, if you can stop a guy? It's just going to let everybody know I'm here, and the, the, the new champion is coming soon. All right, good luck. We'll see you in the ring tomorrow night. Thank you, David. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video, and make sure to subscribe for more videos of your favorite fighters over here on Fight Up TV, and give us a follow online as well at Fight Up TV on Twitter and on Instagram. We appreciate it, guys.